Okay, good afternoon to you all. I'm Vijay, so I'll be handling the psychology optional. And for the GS, I'll be coming for environment. Okay. So what we are going to see today is, we will try to understand what is it psychology as a subject. So what is the subject matter? So what are the contents we have? What are the syllabus? And what it is dealing and how it can be applied? And finally, we will also try to see from the UPC point of view. So how the psychology optional is performing, what is the scoring pattern and other things. And finally, we will have a question and answer session. So online students, uh, please check for the audio and video. If you have any doubts, you can post it in the chat box. So I can see and uh, periodically I will also try to you know, give the response. My love, you connect with me. Fine. So the first and foremost doubt most of them have whether do you need any prior background. Uh, sometimes, so I hope many are from engineering, arts and science, right? So how many of you from engineering? Okay, so how many of you from pure sciences, BSc, MSc? Okay. And how many of you from uh, arts background? Okay, one or two. So other courses are like so whichever the background you are. So the first and foremost, my answer is, if you want to pursue a MA or MSc psychology now in any university, Bharatiar or Madras University, the qualification is any graduate from recognized university. So actually, you know, psychology, if you want to do an MA or MSc, there is no prior background. Because for economics now, you need to have a BA economics. But psychology, it is not that. And also many people think that psychology now it's more related to medical. So actually within the psychology, we have a part which is called clinical psychology. That is what related to biological and medical basis. But if you see the psychology, whatever the syllabus that is given in the UPSC, and most of your BSc and MSc psychology or BA MA psychology, it is more oriented to social sciences. So how you see sociology, anthropology in that line only. So when the brain whether we will study about brain, so brain parts, no, actually, even we are not even going to study about brain. If you are interested, there will be one chapter on biological basis of uh, behavior. So there you can, for your interest, you can see it. But actually, we are not really getting into the medical part. We are only going to see the social science or psychology as a social science basis. So first one is, now let's see what is the subject. You just have a look at this picture. I know some of the pictures, some different types of pictures, personality and some event. So can you tell me, so those pictures and what is your response from these pictures? Only response in it. Because psychology is more of an interactive subject. It cannot be a theoretical oriented. It is a theoretical oriented, but it is completely application oriented. Though. So first person, Usain Bolt, so he's a sportsman. So when you see him, what is the impression immediately you get? Uh, motivation, achievement motivation. And you can see Hitler, determination and also, so we have a negative view on Hitler. So positives are not long, even though we have some positives, but we have some negative view. And you see Gandhi. So I will say, these are all personality. Okay, I'm right, what, what makes Hitler to do that action? It's a behavior. So we study behavior. What made Hitler to do the action? What made Gandhi to do like that? So today, if you take leadership across the world, even in a Harvard University, they are talking about only Gandhi as a leader. Why Gandhi as a leader? They are talking more. You take Gandhi in modern India. If you have started, if modern India started, you see Gandhi. Gandhi had appearance. Okay. So body is height, weight. You see his skin color. Okay, and he see his dressing style. But Gandhi does not have any political power. He is not a you know leader, political leader, nothing like that. But Gandhi, when he gave a call across India, everyone obeyed it. Actually, that is what leadership. So leader, that is a true leadership. See, today there are many leaders who have a political power. So we have prime ministers, presidents, and various leaders who have some political power, who have their military, 
who have a you know police and other forces authority law and all now with that they command that is different that comes with the political power this is something called personal power and what makes a hitler to you know mesmerize the people and hitler you know did the action something you know he killed lakhs and lakhs of jews german supported surprisingly people supported him i mean right? people supported for the war see normally if, if any country if india is going for a world war now immediately you will think why we have to go for a world war so you will start questioning the leadership you will start questioning the ideas of the leaders political party but when he gave a call hitler gave a call even though it is a negative view but as a leader he proved so that is a behavior so achievement motivation is a behavior now you see a terrorist do you think terrorist or psychological problems they have no not at all we can have psychological problems huh? we call it as psychopath so criminals la badirpinga hardcore criminals the different types of criminals who do grave crime but if you take a terrorist no he is a normal person like us like you like me but he will be trained psychologically trained in one year in the terrorist organization so the same sort of a training is also being done in police it also being done in what to say in uh, military also but it will be intense in the terrorism now the training after a training of one and a half two years of time you are completely turned okay they develop a very strong prejudice over the society they feel everyone as our group even they are ready to give up their family friends everything they are able to do such a crime to kill many number of people ajmal kasabla you would have heard about he came he took a gun and killed more than 300 people such a you know drastic action they are able to do it so that is one example that's one other example so these are all normal so why a child fears for it so if you see psychology na psychology mostly we study about behaviors so if you want what psychology will give you so after you study well about the subject you study the subject well finally you can get some answers so why some are shy why some are talkative so we have some people introverted some people extroverted who are outgoing some people are very shy reserved so why why such that's a behavior so why such behavior comes and sometime if someone says something bad about you some people will not bother okay and i want to solve whatever you tell you go but some people you know they will keep on thinking about overnight one day night two night two day night you no know, they fail their you know they skip their sleep they will be keep on thinking about it so that is something obsessing so some people when when someone criticizes it they obsess it for a very long time they be much worried so why it happens to some people okay and so sakin education coming to the education psychology some cannot sit and study for a long time so habits so some develop that habit so normally if you want to develop a habit how many days you know it needs 21 days but actually it it comes in even anywhere between 18 8 days to 264 days but at an average 66 days you want to change a behavior you have a bad habit you want to do some changes so kandipa if you come from a college and all so if you take for this exam you need to sit and study for 78 hours of time so that we have to do so initially immediately you sit for 7 hours 8 hours of time you will do only for 2 days 3 days so you have to build that habit it seems that once any habit or behavior you build it for 66 days at an average that will come at as an habit in your life so and the next one forgetting so you study something so hereafter you will come to know so normally i hope normally we have started it so when you when you further enter you will see that uh, people will study a lot and we will be studying a lot but we will be keep on forgetting why because the reason is as a psychological research clearly shows that any content you read you can only remember 30% after 9 hours of time that's a typical one so by doing some techniques by some certain techniques memory improvement technique you can increase so it is not possible for you to retain whatever you study that is also true so in the memory chapter we will try to understand this and then come to the social part honor killing you could see that the caste issues and class issues and all the father the father and mother will kill their daughter or will their son because of only one reason that her daughter their daughter or son would have married a other caste so why such a strong prejudice why people are ready to even emotional it's a very emotional am i right so 21 years 22 years rearing a child bringing up a child a daughter just for one issue for caste or for caste or some whatever the major issue ethnic issues or something they are ready to even kill them so why such a thought process happen 
So that's normally we call so honor killing. So why it's on social part. So and how people could crime or could commit such a inhuman crime like Nirbhaya. I hope Delhi crime case for the So in that crime case, like if you have seen some documentary, he had only one person have done the most crime. Actually, he committed suicide in that. They told that he committed suicide in that particular jail. So if you see that, when he was interviewed, he didn't have any guilt at all. He said that the girl did a mistake. The girl was not good. Okay, a girl should not come by 9 o'clock in that dress with a boy. That is wrong. So that is what he was justifying. Actually, his mind has been like that. Okay, it is a pathological. So this is another perspective the psychology tries to understand. Then you can see, if you take advertisements, today a lot of advertisements you can see, news channels and all, they are using a lot of models, attractive model for selling their products. It's a marketing. So why they have to use in advertisement and any marketing, they are going for attractive model, what is the reason for it? So if you, these are some of the, some examples I'm trying to tell. When you study psychology, we will try to understand about behavior, we will try to get some answers. We cannot get a definite answer, but we will try to get some answers for all these questions, including, okay, these are the questions. Now, we will see what is psychology. So psychology, if you see a definition, as a formal definition, we try to understand human behavior and mental process. So the only two terms are there. So the first term is called human behavior. It is nothing but overt behavior, external action. See, all the way you come and sit here. So what motivates you? See, after your graduation, you could have gone for some job. So some of your uh, colleges or they would have, even a campus entry would have come. So you would have left it. Okay, or you could have gone for some other job for 15,000 or 20,000, whichever may be, you would have started your career. But all the way you left it and you pay money and you are coming and sitting here. So that is something, a motivation is there. Some sort of a motivation, what drives you? So that is what, this is something called overt behavior, external action. So anything external action, that is one we have to see. Second is internal mental process. So what is running inside your mind? That is also very important. So outward action can be different, but inside something will be running in your mind. That is also different. So when you understand these two things, you can understand the person better. So that is what you can see psychology, the one is overt action, many external behavior, any type of a behavior, it can be within the organization, in your family, within yourself, even you can see a, a boy, a child is smoking, it's an observation learning. So this behavior comes just not like that, just like that does not come to him. He observes from it, some sort of a process is happening, that is what he is doing it. So gossiping, this is all gossiping behavior. So whichever the behavior, external action, overt, we call it a O-V-E-R-T, overt no external. Overt behavior, we try to understand. And second is, in turn inside the mind. So something like emotions, thought, feeling, love, sex, anger, depression, memories. So which we cannot see it, which is happening inside the mind that we are trying to study. This is what in psychology, broadly we try to study in two aspect, one we try to understand the overt behavior, second is we try to understand the internal mental process. Overt behavior, we can understand 100% because we can see, we can observe, 100% we can easily understand, but the internal mental process in Radhe, it is always a very difficult. But that also we can understand to some extent, so that we can understand a person better or we can understand the situation or person in a better way. So ultimate, whole psychology, if you take it, what we are going to study is now, first thing, if you see anyone's behavior or your own behavior, first you will try to describe what is the type of the behavior. We have a definite pattern. So we see it's not psychology something open. We have a systematic, it is a systematic subject. There's a systematic pattern. We will try to understand everyone, uh, everyone's behavior in a particular pattern. Particular pattern, na, it is something I can call it as a school of thought. So total away, I will say that in psychology, there are only some four to five schools of thought. There is one school of thought which comes from the Freudian school of thought. We have a, you know, humanism school of thought. And there are four to five schools of thought is there. Within that only, we are going to completely study. If you are clear in the schools of thought, the entire psychology itself is over. So first one, we will try to understand a particular type of behavior within a school of thought. What is that type of behavior? Second, we will try to understand why that particular behavior happens. 
So you take you you, you explain you are a shy. So that is I am explaining you. You are a shy type, introverted type. So why that particular reason comes? Okay, what is the reason for it? If we take it in a Nirbhaya case or even in a honor killing, what is the reason for that behavior? So that we will try to explain. That is number two. So once you understand this, then what we can do? We can predict that person, or it's a person or a group, whichever it may be. So right now you know Manipur issue is going on. Mm, you can see that. So what is the reason for it? Class con conflict, the ethnic conflict. You see that ethnic conflict goes in such a such a extent to do such a crime. So we understand what the behavior is. We try to understand what is the reason for the behavior, why people are acting in that, and we will try to understand how they will act in the future. So from the public administration point of view, it is very important so that we can control certain behavior, individual behavior as well as a group behavior. So finally, the fourth one, once you know this three, then change the behavior. So we go for ultimately psychology objective is behavior modification program now. So whatever we study in the psychology, we do two things. If it is an individual, we give some sort of a therapy or behavior modification program. If it is a group, now we give it as a training. So two areas only we are working most of the time. On third one is research. These are three areas generally a psychologist work. So change the behavior and the mental process. So what are the various changes? So that we can apply in anywhere. You take environmental. So today we have a clean India mission, Swachh Bharat mission. So but still you can see some toilet construction and all we have done. Still open defecation is happening. The behavior change is not happening. So especially in India and all, what we need is something more of attitude change, behavioral change. So that is what we are seeing in this chapter, in this entire psychology as a subject. Then you see the entire psychology, please understand, we are going to see in a only particular perspective. So probably you would have read some psychology books and all. So I will say that it is a very general book. But psychology as a subject we are going to study only under certain school of thought. So what are the school of thought and all? Just I am giving only a small intro. There is one school of thought is called psychodynamism school of thought. So it was proposed by Freud, Freud and followers. So it is a different school of thought we have. Second is behavioral school of thought. They talk only about the behavior, external behaviors. The third school of thought is called cognitive school of thought. So cognitive now it is a mind. It's an internal mental process. How you process that information. That's called the cognitive perspective. The fourth school of thought, it is called humanistic school of thought. So it is a it came in 1950. So because once upon a time they believed that only intelligent people can, you know, survive, intelligent people only can succeed. But later 1950s and the so the thought process has changed. They feel that everyone has some sort of a potential. Everyone wants personal growth. Everyone wants freedom. So that movement has created a lot of changes in many company. So today, if you go to many industries and all, you can see that they will be they will be doing a lot of small group activity where operators will also solve problems. So over point of time, they think that only engineers solve problem in a factory. But now it's not so. Even uh, even some operators also, you know, who are workers also, they can solve the problem. They teach them. They learn them. That's a humanism. So we'll see the humanistic perspective. The last perspective is a social psychological perspective. It's called social psychology. Actually, social psychological perspective is also borrowed from this four perspective. Now, in reality, our major four perspectives. This is the four perspective we are going to see the psychology. There is a fifth perspective. That is a biological medical perspective that actually we don't have. So it is not in the syllabus. Only the four perspectives only. Every chapter, if you go, they will be only dealing about this four perspective. Now. So in that only we study, we go on. So that we will have a you know continuity. So we can easily, you know, we can easily follow the subject. So it will not be isolated subject. Even though subject like learning, memory, in my subject it will be like a different subjects. But in reality, if you see, all are single line down. So you can take a track, you can move on. If you take a psychodynamism, you can move through some chapters. If you take a humanism, all the chapter will deal about humanism. All the other chapters will deal about the cognitive. This is a four perspective we have. Okay, now come to the syllabus. So they have, uh, you know that the optional will have two paper, paper one, paper two. So how in psychology they have done this? The first paper is a foundations of psychology. 
the foundations of psychology it will contain some 14 chapters but the real effective chapter is 9 to 10 chapter that is a core chapter rest of three four chapters are peripheral chapters so that is the first chapter first uh, you know paper one paper two if you come to paper two it is completely application so whatever the psychology you study that we have to apply if you see most of our students with the course goes for four and a half to five months of time or even in the exam they devote they are studying for four four months or four months or five months three and a half months they will be dedicating for paper one three and a half to four months they will be dedicating for paper one one month only they will be dedicating for paper two because once you are strong in this paper one definitely paper two will not be a challenge okay paper two just like that application so paper one the the challenge will have that is what we have to systematically we have to study we have to do paper two just like that application once you know all the concept because only four schools of thought we have the four schools of thought some concepts will be there so you can take the concept you can easily apply so whether it is a social thing like honor killing or environment any, anything you take it in organization you can easily apply it so paper two will not have a challenge paper only we have to study so what in paper one we will study is yes, we will be studying some few some of the important chapters i will tell you there is one chapter learning chapter the complete behaviorism will come so learning now don't think that is studying book so right now whatever the behavior you have that and all is a learned response so chinna vayasu vandu neenga adha vandu kattittu da vandirkinga so yeah, classroom vanda you just come here you come and sit here that is i will say that's one learning and then after the class you will go you know you will sleep that is one learning so if you take our human behavior all the human behavior comes from the learning so they will be explaining why that learning happens then the second is the very important chapter is a personality chapter so in the personality chapter your complete consolidation of your behavior so why that person what is the personality what are the various personality trait so if i want to define a person's personality i want to understand you now i have one psychological testing if i give it i can understand what type of a person you are and also i can tell reasons solradhu it's not so easy but i can tell how you will behave in the future and also we can tell how can change the behavior suppose undesirable behaviors you have bad habits you have how to change the habit that completely we will study in the personality and then we have another chapter memory so here we are going to study about the memory system so now once upon a time they thought that memory is just one we study we see something that goes that registers and then whenever we we want it recalls we take a recall like a computer input storage output that is what once upon a time we thought but so even today biology even medical sciences or even neurosciences they are not able to prove the complete brain but without going to a brain we have proved in psychology we have proved how our memory system clearly works so we came, we told that we have three memory system sensory memory there is something called short term memory i hope you would have seen the movie gajini so short term memory loss so first it goes to sensory memory it goes to short term memory and then it goes to your long term memory this is the three stages of memory we have so through some small research and experiment we have studied the memory system then we have a chapter called motivation emotion so that chapter clearly tells what makes what is that motivation so for everyone's motivation you have motive all the way you come for a civil service some motive is there if i ask you you will tell service and solving but what is the real motive whether you have achievement motive whether you have a power motive so whether you have a money motive whether you have a status motive so some sort of a motives will be there so that's that's what the motivation chapter we study and very important is if you take a people who achieve high in the high in a organization or high in your life even you take a sportsman or leaders even within the bureaucrats even in a politician and all people with a high achievement motivation how they will be what type of characteristics they will be avanga eppadi irupanga so what their routine activity so that and all they scientifically we have understood how the motivation happen and also motivation emotion comes together how our emotional process happen how do we experience our emotion and the emotion la so what are the negative emotions normally positive emotion so how this negative emotion comes so why we were not able to uh, sometime manage this negative emotion so that and all we will try to understand in this chapter and then other chapters some other miscellaneous chapters like intelligence is there intelligence la but you know once upon a time they told that iq intelligent quotient who scores more than 130 so scores anyone iq test la if you score more than 120 130 you are intelligent and also now it's a very normal practice for us to tell that school la you get a highest mark even during the school 
in your school someone would have got first rank second rank your teacher will say that he is an intelligent boy he is an intelligent girl so do you think that getting a high score in a schooling can we say that they are intelligent no once upon a time we defined in that way so one who perform academically good score who get a good marks in the school and also in iq test anyone scores 130 140 so normally they are all high intelligent but later we came to know that no so that is totally wrong there is something called emotional intelligence it is given in your paper 4 ethics paper like there is something called creative intelligence there is something called practical intelligence so that type of intelligence and all they never taught it now here in this chapter we will comprehensively understand what are all the different types of intelligence we have in our life and today what intelligence is very important iq is important iq la minimum or 100 if you are if anyone is 60 70 na something retarded that should not be minimum 90 to 100 you should have but there are other type of intelligence we have so we will try to comprehensively understand what are the different types of intelligent how intelligent people behave so that and all we will try to understand and then language and communication so here this chapter is a common chapter normally communication training and all i hope in your school colleges you would have heard so what are the different modes of communication how to improve communication how to improve thing language la we will try study we will specifically we study about how a language development happens to a child and second thing is language la normally we are all bilingual most of us bilingual someone will be monolingual someone will be multilingual so what is the difference between it it is good to be a monolingual being in one language or it is good to be in two languages or three languages so that and all we will try to study in this chapter and then there is one chapter this is a very applied chapter thinking problem solving under this chapter we will discuss we will elaborately discuss about problem solving how whenever a problem comes how we solve the problem and there is a, a sub chapter in this decision making so normally people how they make decisions and also there is one sub chapter called creativity so how creativity happens what are the process of creativity how creative pe- creativity people will behave so whether creativity people are intelligent people or not so they have found that not so every creativity people you cannot say that they are all having iq of 140 130 la correct okay. so this is what so most of the time you can see the paper 1 will be the foundations which will be within the schools of thought so once you understand this paper 1 if you are good in the paper 1 once we do good in the paper 1 then comes paper 2 so issues and application so when you come to the issues and application i will broadly divide into three to four group so there is one area this is what a clinical part so here even though it is a clinical part we are not going to study about biological basis and all here we will try to understand how psychometric testing psychological testing we do so if you want to assess a personality if you want to assess a educational achievement if you want to assess uh, attitude if you want to measure anything psychological parameter we go for a psychological testing so we will see only the basic levels of psychological testing then we will also discuss about few mental disorders so especially like anxiety disorders and depressive disorders some clinical level disorders but we are going to only see the symptom we are not going to study like uh, medical science three is therapy this is what behavior modification program because i told not the four schools of thought the four schools of thought has given how to they told how to understand a behavior how to reason out the behavior and also they told how to predict a behavior and change the behavior that is through therapy it is also called as therapy or it is also called as a behavior modification program it can be for anyone so today even this behavior modification program even for the corporates they are doing for the higher executives ceos la porangala so for them also certain undesirable you know behaviors they may have so for changing that they go for some therapeutic approaches or behavior, behavior modification program and then rehabilitation i will say this this four it is one you know one area so from this area itself in paper 2 100 mark comes then second is organization psychology psychology applied to education so organization psychology it's, it can be helpful in management and even in administration and all so whatever the psychology we study how we can use it suppose you become an ias officer yes you can be in a ias or ips or ifs let me take this three service so when you go to a ifs officer indian foreign service officer that time you should know only the behavior today russian issue hmm. so from psychologically we can analyze why russia putin is behaving in this way why zelensky is behaving in that way 
So what psychological process? So even in psychology itself, we study how conflict management should be done. Whether it's a personal conflict or within a family conflict or even with. So organization psychology will give you an overall picture how an organization work, how the team members work. So normally what are all the problem in organization they face and how psychology can be used to understand the motivation and other thing. Most of your HR concepts normally comes in this and specifically education. Education, so here, so schooling, college, now you see our education system. Do you, do you tell me personal opinion? Are you happy with our education system? Not so. You go and see US, you go and see European Union, you see their education system. Our education system has been made in such a way for a particular objective. Okay, you have to get a score, you have to go for a job. But if you go to a US education system, you go to a European Union education system, their education system is totally different. Com completely, completely different. So like this mark system and all, they have very minimum now, credit system now. So education system, basically the reason is, actually they have applied a lot of psychology. Because today we study psychology in India, but psychology as a subject came from US and European Union. Now. The two countries. Now. They, are the, they are the one who have taken the, all the concepts of psychology. They know which will work, which will not work. And they have applied in their education system. But actually now only we have started new education policy. So some psychological things we have done it, but still because of our social, cultural and other issues and all. So we have to go for a job. We are not economically advanced. The US, the European Union, they are all economically advanced. But now you see here, not so. In, you, are, you are a US citizen. You don't want to bother about health. You don't want to bother about education. But here everything we have to take care. So country in the country, it's completely different. So how psychology can be applied to education, how to bring the best education system. So that we try to understand in this thing. And this chapter is completely sociology oriented. How psychology is applied to the community. Okay, so especially disadvantaged group, people who are living in poverty and social integration is nothing but conflicts, caste conflict. So that and all we will try to understand in this chapter, including women discrimination. So why women are discriminated? So what are the reason? So that and all we will try to apply. So most of the time what we see from the paper one, that is what we are applying in the paper two. This is something miscellaneous, how psychology is applied in military, sports, other miscellaneous chapter. Okay. So as a nutshell, paper one is a basic foundation. That is a concept from the four, perspective, four to five perspective that we study well, that we can take it and we can easily apply it. Because for paper one, we will be having two book. For paper two, there is only one book we have. So that one book only we have to study. And then application. So anyway, in the class, we will take care. So we'll take care how we need to apply that. Okay, so this is a, a broad view about the two papers. Now, from the UPSC point of view, so if you want to take psychology as an optional, I will say that there should be only one criteria. What is the criteria? Na? Interest. See, that is a common criteria for any optional. So that should not be any consideration. When you see a subject, you should feel some interest. It should be, it can be a new subject to you or it can be a old subject, whichever may be. Why I'm saying is, because this is a competitive exam. So it's not a normal academic exam. Normal academic exam, 70-80% you can get it, you can go through. But it's a competitive exam. Between your competitor, you have to perform. So if you are good in the, if you, if you are interested in the subject, you will stick on to the subject for the five to six months of time. You will perform well. So that is what always they say that whichever option you choose on, the main criteria is interest over the subject is very important. Okay. So if you take a psychology as a subject, if you are interested now, then you need not bother about anything. As a subject, as a, uh, you know, notes, whichever may be, that and all we will give it. The only question is whether you are interested. So you want to learn that. If you want to learn that, you can come for the psychology. So coming to the UPC point of view. So basically I told you, it is a more of a social science and behavioral science. Psychology, uh, still now psychology has not come under a pure sciences. Few sciences now, the his, uh, sorry, uh, job, uh, like uh, physics, chemistry, botany, zoology, mm -hmm. medical sciences are pure sciences. So in that category, still it has not come. Some are sciences, but most of them are social and behavioral sciences. And the second thing is, it has less biological basis. So we are not going to study about brain and all. Only in emotion, one or two chapters, we will study about one or two parts. But complete brain, we are not going to study. If you are interested, you can have a go and look at it. 
but it has got less biological basis it's more of a social science basis and it does not need any specific background so that again i want to tell you whichever background you are a ba english literature whether you are a bcom whether you are a bsc engineering whichever background you can come because most of our even last year students blue she is a bsc visual communication now so even we have some arts graduate engineers more because number of engineers who are coming into the you know civil service is more so whichever the background you are does not matter because it can be easily understood because as a subject that is the reason ma m phil ma msea you know they keep it as a ba any graduation now so they don't go for any prior thing because you study the chapter even you go take a ncert book plus one book if you study it you will understand so there is no challenge at all so it has immense application it is a scoring paper because of its applicative nature okay normally they look for application now so in the class we will only see the concept we will see the application next comes the it is a more of a practical but has theoretical base so aduga theory illama alla so it's not a very open paper and all any paper any sociology or any paper any social science paper you go it will have some thinkers so we call here as a we will not call them as a thinker we call them as a researcher so normally their theoretical perspective i don't know the four theoretical perspective within that only okay we will try to see it and also it will have practical and then it can be easily connected with real time example that is one of the very important one we have see when you enter into each and every chapter you don't want to think outside you can think inside because you study about learning you study about memory you study about emotions motivation personality ellame ungale question pannu so you can question that will start questioning you only so we are going to study about ourselves now so the subject nature is of that you know orientation and it can be applied to the individual so self self development even in social level so that's what social psychology we have hr and management and administration so we have lot of application so today most of the hr policies la pathina it is will be mother subject will be psychology da okay so what challenges you will have hmm. so it will be as i already told you we have to study it under a certain perspective so schools of thought da nammala open a edha eludha mudiyadu okay so they will tell this is a this is the procedure you follow the procedure all along so certain schools of thought we have to go for okay it will have some scientific studies supported with simple experiments and case studies so simple experiments and case studies na i will tell you what is that for example solra in memory they want to do a research in a research na uh, you study something you forget it so what is the reason for it edho padikiringa something you study and then or 5 days 6 days kapra you forget it you may, you cannot recall so you may think that time delay so the five days is gone so because of the time gap you forgot so they really want to know whether you lose your memory because of time gap so for that what they do is they do one small experiment every irukum irukka experiment they have taken two people group a people group b people normal 10 10 people 10 people here 10 people it is a scientific research now they are giving some material to study history or some material they are going to they are giving it and then they have studied well they have rehearsed by heart at now both of them 20 people they have a equal knowledge on that particular subject so the material which come vocabularies or something then what the researcher is doing is two hours gap they is giving it he want recall they they have to recall after two hour but for this group a in the two hour he asked them to sleep in this two hour he is giving some work okay then after two hours he asked them to recall he asked them to recall so what they found is this group of people who slept they are able to recall more than 79 percentage whatever they studied here they are able to recall only 45 percentage either study ibrida irukum sorry okay so what we can conclude from this konja basic reason hmm time gap is not a reason ipo rendu perku rendu rendu hour da na time koduthirukku for both of them two two hours gap only is there if you say time gap is a reason for forgetting no wrong because both of them have two hours gap how they are able to recall 79% of the information they are able to only recall because new information as he told because you study uh, you study history other next day you study some other it will go and that's called interference normally they call say interference theory 
That is the reason when you study, you should not study multiple subject at a time. That will never work out. You have to take only one subject or two subject. You have to go. Okay. And you have to do revision, multiple revision. So this is we came to know from the memory chapter. So studies na, it is going to be like this. So not big uh, physics experiments. So it is a scientific study because the study has been conducted many number of times. The same results come. So based on that, they told that time delay is not a main reason. The main reason is interference. Because after that, you go for multiple information. That will go and intervene your memory system. Because our memory works in that way only. Okay, we are, we are not a computer and all. So that is what it's been either by the case studies or experiment. We come to know. Then comes, okay, the very clear is we don't deal with any pseudo. Pseudo not false. See, normally some books and all you would have studied. So how to read unconscious, how to read people. That and all we are not going to study. Okay, that and all does not have any scientific support. We are going to see from the four perspective, systematica, we will study. Okay, so we will not be reading hypnosis, we will study hypnosis. Okay, but some people will say, uh, you know, something about hypnosis. Okay, uh, hypnotist, okay, I am giving a knife, go and kill him. Uh, okay, you see, you know, the Yara Maribu movie, that and all will not happen. That and all pseudo psychology. We will see a systematic one, what is in the textbook. That is what we are going to see. And okay, whether it will have any reflection on the GS paper, my personal advice you should not look that. Option portalaka, you should not look that. But anyway, it comes in the GS4. Director, some syllabus is reflecting emotional intelligence, attitudes, and all directly comes. Case study, it can be very helpful because we will be studying about moral reasoning. Namely, uh, ethics, la, moral reasoning, how moral development happens for, from a childhood learn till now. What are the moral development, Kohlberg moral development? So what are the different levels we study? So it can be very helpful for your case studies. So in that, I will say that in that 150 to 200 marks in your ethics paper, it can be helpful. Okay, I can say it can be helpful, but actually that should not be a consideration for taking a subject. Okay, when you take an optional, it should be based on the interest. Because you will not see whatever the optional you take it, GS mark patina, everyone will be in the same band. Da. So that will not give you any much thing. Okay, that, that should not be a criteria. So anyways, the, Okay, marking pattern. So normally our students get anywhere around 270 to 290. Are the marks we will see. A realistic mark of 270. So we have got 290 and all. So whether 300, 320 comes, 300 definitely it will come. Because the thing is, you have to perform well. And the one thing is, number of student who take psychology is also very limited. So the intensity of competition will be limited. But you have a competition. Option portal, there is only thumb rule, one thumb rule UPSC follows. They ensure that from all the optional student comes. Even last year UPC report, if you see, whatever the option you take, people come. And the top two percent definitely will come. So no doubt at all. Because anyway, ultimate uh, to total mark of uh, 2000, your option is only 500, 25 percent now. Okay, option is one important, but you know, you should not have any other consideration optional. Optional consideration should be purely based on the interest. So 270 to 290, that's an average last year, see blue has got 280, 281 something. So we have civil engineers who got around 265. So 270 to 290 is a mark definitely you can get. So you will not get a very less mark. So 300 plus, like if you ask me really, mathematics, ah, that will not come. That, that if, you, if it wants to come now, you have to perform very well. Okay, application law, remember, if you work out, definitely it will come. See, UPSC will not discriminate. How UPSC have 21, 21 optional, they will tell the professors, all the 21 professors to award an equal mark. Now. So they will not tell that, okay, this option, you give more mark, this option, that and all, they will not do it. But the thing is, mark under the individual subject career, you have to understand. One performs high, if a mathematics has got 330 mark now, because he is performing, so he get it. So that is the criteria. So at an average, this is a mark pattern we can easily expect. So if you study moderate, not moderate, we see that those who cross 250, they enter into interview. They enter into interview. So 260, 270 provided you get a GS mark, the base mark. So normal, everyone will get a GS 90, 92, 105. That mark you have to get. If you are getting 70, 80 in that GS, no. So that is the reason optional is one factor, but optional alone is not a factor. GS will perform. GS, four paper, essay, interview. You will work. Okay, option for this, uh, because option in the car, because the one reason is optional is corrected by that particular professor. And GS nano, anyone can correct, even, even a physics professor can correct your paper one also, because they will tell a key. But option for the it's not like that. So based on the interest you have to score, this is a pattern you will get marked.
So, book sources, if you come uh, for the paper one, there will be two books, part one, part two. So, yes, I a book, I am going to give it for you. So, that book, one book is sufficient, the two book is sufficient for paper one. NCRT is a general book. So, if you go to NCRT, that is also better because some students are only following NCRT also. Okay, NCRT, I will say it is a uh, one time reading, I will advise you. Suppose you say that I don't have time, but I think June batch, July batch, you will have a time. So, you can go by the book, whatever the book we give. And suppose, apart from that, any class notes. So, anyway, the class itself, I will give you some short notes of it so that it will be very easy for you. So, that is for the paper one. Paper two, you have to buy only one book that is called Applied Psychology by Smarak Swine. Because when we deal paper one itself, many aspects of paper two we will deal. And our learning, when I take a learning chapter and other chapter and all, after that I will tell you what is the application you will have so that you can easily connect it. So, paper two will not have much challenge. So, paper one, this two books, whatever I am going to give, that book itself is 99% okay. Okay. Apart from that, if you do some reading and all, internet reading, that is where make that will, that is what will make you competitive. Then, if you want a reference book, that I will advise during the class. Okay. So timing wise, our program plan will be so 5:30. We are having a weekday plan. So 5:30 to 8:15 weekday. So for the mind, you keep it as five days. So we will keep it initially. We will keep it for three days, and then we will go for four days. So we will have some flexibility, but you keep in mind for five days. Okay. But mostly we will have it for three to four days time. And every two weeks time, we will have a test because whatever you study, the very important is you have to convert into mark. Mark or convert panla yedhala na ori usala. See, psychology as a subject it can be useful. Personal it can be very useful. Even you know you are in the civil service or not civil service. Psychology as a subject it can be useful for you. But since we are purposefully come for UPSC, we should have that writing skill. You know the writing skill under the yedhala thala mark. When you write only it will come. So that is what. You have to, you know, write the test. Two weeks once, we will conduct a test that you have to write it. And then after the course also, we will have a test. Other only you can come and write it. You don't want to pay for that. Okay, two things. Test after the test, we will have a test discussion. I will tell you how to write the answer. So, the slow build panala because you have to understand our always keep in mind civil service under the Please don't, you know, ever go by any other thing it is a step by step process now okay so you will right now you have some skills you have some knowledge so from that only you have to start other than the start one no so slowly you have to build sometime you may not have a writing skills does not matter you know in the exam patina you can see iit will also come iam also will come medical science also will come commerce graduate also will come and also you can see that who have not gone for formal schooling. After 8th, they would have not gone for a formal schooling. They also clear and come for this exam. They also clear get into service. In the exam, they don't need for any high intelligence and all. We need average intelligence. Tha, but hard work. Or no. Okay. No shortcut. The strategy, please remove that. Someone says strategy, shortcut, that's only hard work. Na. Hard work is smart work. You should know what to study, what not to study. And whatever you study, you write, you have to come and evaluate. You have to contact with the faculty, come and evaluate it. You should gauge yourself, you are on the right track. So that is what I am telling you. So test discussion and review, I will I will say that that is very important. And then I will give you some assignments. You know, since psychology is more of application oriented, I will give you some assignments, sort of a knowledge surfing. I will not say internet surfing, knowledge surfing. Because now we are used to it. Gen Z, always used to that books and other thing am i right like ebooks now so i will say that you can browse certain things to enhance your knowledge that we will give it and then so we will also do a mentoring for our students so since we are a psychology okay so normally mentoring we only do it mentoring or counseling or behavior modification so since we come from a psychology definitely we have to do that so that we will do it okay so this is a brief about psychology now you can ask me your doubts. Only any doubts are go without a hesitation. So first and foremost thing, you have any doubts, you talk out. Speak out, don't have any hesitation. Mm, killing one. Yes. Uh, specific writing skills, 
so yeah, uh, you don't need uh, any exceptional writing skill also one thing i will tell you for any subject it is not needed what upsc says is already they told it i think in the supreme court uh, when they submit one document and all they don't look for handwriting they don't look for english skills you know flowery language vocabulary spelling mistake also they don't look for if people la pathina so all the students after you come for the class i will give you some model paper so those who have you know written the test series those who have gone into service and all if you see that it will be very normal okay and one more thing so whether we need to read newspapers la vande not much because psychology it's more of a static paper you study from the book you have to write it you know when you are writing when you are let me say when you are writing about learning when you are writing about memory when you are writing about personality you cannot write your own examples you can give your own example but concept wise you cannot write your own concepts so what you write harvard la someone is writing ph in all both of your answer should same so that is one advantage we have and overthinking la thevala you have to think within the subject that's enough okay so specific writing skill is not needed adu adha mari or idhe kedaiyadu we don't have that ena some subjects may need and articulation of words la thevai padum namak adu thevai illa that we don't need it okay minimum basic writing you will come to know so adu avlo challenge la kedaiyadu basic writing skill is enough whatever the knowledge you have right now the english knowledge you have that is sufficient okay then any doubts you can ask me so someone has put a message and theories vand i will not say more kedaiyadu it is uh, see it, it will have a limited theories tha concepts adha irukka mudiyum theories endradhu irukku i will say that that will be 20 25 20% or something but it will be like concepts tha but first class you will first two session three session lay therinjirum and the concepts you learn it that you will apply it concept you learn it apply it that's all ama thiru thiru adha varum adu once you first first day itself i'm going to take only the introduction to psychology different schools of thought when you see the different schools of thought appiye therinjirum or idea kadachirum what is that and so when you go and you do it again it will get applied everywhere So, only one or two chapters will be there. See, that's why you can't say it. See, every subject you go, this challenge will be there. But complete or complete theory, no. It's not that. Uh, see, weekday only we have actually classes. This classes has been planned only for the weekday. Uh, but recording will be available for you. So, but you come to the class. Suppose the exceptional cases you are not attending, no, recording will be available. medical science background na uh, i will say that for 30 40% you have medical science background ah so it will not be completely new okay so or 20 30% it will be you know what you have studied but konjam new irukum new informations irukum because it's more social sciences irukum that medical science la i think in medical sciences they i, I think they have one cha- subject called psychology introduction to psychology something is there some few chapters are there all overlapping irukum but apart from that you will see generally it will be advantage ma see adu the reason is so there are many things for it some student take medical science as an optional because it will it can be very helpful for them neat for md preparation for jobs so adha mari they have multiple even for other medical services exams and all is there so in that perspective some people take difficult is in medical sciences definitely it is really challenging la you have to study physiology anatomy adu totally different framework that can be done only by medical students normal students cannot do it this can be done by anyone actually medical students see uh, the thing is medical student ko this will be easy but what i will say is even a bcom student comes also ba english literature come also he will also understand it is i will say that it is mostly based on the individual okay for medical definitely it will be easy because since uh, you know some medical brain and all we are not really dealing about brain but it will be easily connected oh ah see that is say see no, no, see it is there see, if you have interest on medical sciences if you think that you are you can perform in the medical sciences you can go for medical sciences if you think that no i don't i will i, I want to take this one as a career i am not choosing for any other medical career i want i will take this easy or not it can be comparatively easy 
because when i say that this can be easy for art graduate science graduate uh, it is going definitely it is going to be easy for mbbs graduates uh. Uh, so I think in your medical, I'm not sure about medical syllabus. In your medical sciences, I think some chapters are already is there. Already, you, I think you should have studied introduction to psychology. Irka, illa. A psychiatry psychology ke, uh, I told no the met, uh, psychiatry. Ah, uh, introduction to psychiatry. Some chapters, some few chapters will be from here. Adi rundo ko mental disorders you will see, but mental disorders are the normal person purjo. So anyone study mental disorder, they can easily understand. So co competitively medical sciences, really, you will feel the toughness. And the, that toughness, definitely you will not feel it here. So definitely it can be handy for you. It can it can be easy sailing for you. You know, see, the clearing person, the people who clear, arts graduate, that's what BS Visual Com, she got around 281. So no way it's connected to psychology. So they are able to they are able to get it. So we have last year Bonesh, he is a BSc physics. He got a good marks. He got into service. So Abhinav Bode, anyone can do that. Psychology is a general subject. It will have some medical test, but therapies and uh, 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 you can see the therapies and the disorders and all. Definitely you can easily understand. Even normal people understand malna, but for you it can be very easy. And you don't no need that you have to be strong in the 14 14 chapters. I don't expect from Mata. So, few chapters, if you are strong, it's good. So, medical law definitely will find a good advantage. Okay, correction of papers. See, for online, offline, need not bother. So, it's going to be the same. Online, offline, test now, you can come and write it anyway. Uh, has a hot copy corrected and given back. Offline, you write it, but you have to write it on the day. You have to write it on the day. Don't take two day, three day, delay. Then attitude, that attitude comes, definitely seriousness is lost. If it's a, if it's a UPSC exam is on 26th, you will go only on 26th, whether you will ask excuse. No, the same way here also, the same attitude should be maintained. You have to write the test on the day itself. You can scan it and send it as a single PDF file. We will correct it, we will give a review of it. So in general, if it's online also, need not bother. If it is possible for offline, now please come as offline. That you will feel the, you know, the real class interaction. If it is not possible, now come as an online, not an issue. You will not see any difference at all. Recorded videos will be available in general. So number of students also limited so that individual concern also will be there. Okay, that is also there. Then any other doubts? One challenge, researcher name, many will come. The thing is, I will not say that you have to remember all the researchers name at least some important researcher name you have to keep in mind but many number of researcher name will come so even i cannot remember all the researcher name so major researcher name like freud so freud followers carl jung adler karen honey in the very important researcher name alone that will come okay that and all is not a challenge actually or point initially you may think it's a see normally when you start into a subject usually you will feel that but really when you get into it you will not find any issues at all after point of time, you will not have a challenge. And hard work. See, please, I want to tell you. So, see, I cannot say in optional is easy. That word and all, I will not use it. Okay, if anyone is using the word, okay, this option is easy, that option is easy, then I will say that they are telling in ignorance or they are telling a lie. See, the UPSC will not keep one option as easy, one option. That and all, they will never do it. Some option technical. If engineering option, it has a, it's a technical, that's a challenge. Okay, so mathematics, that's a, that's a good option that has its technicality. Medical sciences, that has its technicality. But other, if you come, this will be like a general subject. But I will not say easy, no, I will not tell you it's easy and all. It is easy to understand. But in the first day class you attend it, you will understand, you will easily understand. When you take a book, you will easily understand. Very, it will not be very complicated. In that way. But you have to work hard. Because UPSC knows very clearly, they keep the optional, they keep the rating of the optional, correction of the optional in that manner. They will ensure that you have discrimination, they will ensure that no discrimination happen. You know, then the, this is a competitive exam. Then the entire thing fails. And also keep in mind, whatever the optional you are choosing, you have to compete with the optional. Okay, don't think this optional will give mark, that and all is not there. So he is writing medical science now, within that some four people only will be clearing. That who is competitive, that only they only will come. Alinda, again and again I'm telling you, subject you show interest. You stick on to the subject, work on the subject. Definitely you will clear. 
and also one more thing illa vandu it's like a marathon race people start but many people leave and go so who runs till the end indra da question actually the number of people 1 lakh people starts but finally you can see 3000 people only will end within that 2000 people will 1000 will get cleared so you have to be competitive in your optional you don't want to bother about any optional your interest is in whichever may be medical science or you can take it but within that you have to perform so upsc will ensure that the top 2 5% is getting cleared ah uh, you can come for the test batch because of our uh, student limited student normally what happens uh, you can uh, the classes will go up to or uh, four and half to five months you keep in mind still the syllabus completion after that uh, december vandro so you will be preparing for your prelims so prelims mudicha vanne after your prelims what we can do is we will you come for a test series that test complete eight ten tests are come you take this test also class test that test also you have to take it you know you clear the prelims you have to take a new anyway test series so this program you can take it you need not pay for that and the test series you come so what i will plan is normally what i am planning from this year onwards uh, since you complete the syllabus by october november adukapra you will be entering into gs for six months gap alone kandipa you will forget it so we will have a sort of a review session for five chapter six chapter we will have a review session and you can write the test and you have to you take the full test then definitely you will be equipped that is more than if you are writing a full test if you are prepare you are attending the class regularly reading it writing the test i will tell you damn sure you will clear ad ritual ah pananum that you have to do is a ritual people don't do that you know in the process it starts in june july illa parunga you can see after 2 3 months people will be deviating and the people will start asking excuses okay people will vandha nariya excuse kepa ampanga people will start deviating temptation will come okay doubt self doubt will come okay whether it is possible for me to what a chitte you have to enter that's all i am doing this i am going to do this for the next one year i will not i will not turn up i will not, i don't give any time for temptation i will not ask any excuse i will work hard avladha what is possible for me i will do it you do that definitely you are clearing this exam damn sure i will say that you will can clear in the very first attempt itself even though adu undu konjam difficult ah nalo it is there. and also you should keep one attempt da vandu the project mari 3 years 4 years la plan e pannadinga okay i have come for i have asked a permission for 2 years 3 years if you do that if you keep that in mind definitely you are not doing it to the 3 years whatever the attitude will come attitude will change lethargy will come you have to keep it whether you join this iniki how many of you joined today iniki or batch edo start ayirukku nenikira i think they have not joined okay see you join in june or july does not matter or come in october does not matter you have to think that this may is my first prelims last prelims and the attitude la padicha mattum than this exam will clear is that this exam in nature you have to work hard success is going to follow okay so online students you have any doubts you can ask me any the doubts so if you have decided for the optional you have to go to the ground floor when you decide for it you have to enroll okay probably some would have enrolled it in the psychology optional if you are not enrolled now if you are decided for the psychology optional you have to enroll so thursday is the first class hmm tell me hmm i was on a four perspective da adukulla da eludna example ninga enna vena example edala அதெல்லாம் நான் சொல்றேன் அப்படி ஓப்பனா எழுதா தென் இட் வில் பி லைக் பிலாசபிகல் ஒரு ஈவன் பிலாசபி தே ஹேவ் देयर பாயிண்ட் ஆஃப் வியூ தா தட் அண்ட் ஆல் யூ கேன் நாட் டு தட் எக்ஸாம்பிள்ஸ் யூ கேன் கிவ் எனி நம்பர் ஆஃப் எக்ஸாம்பிள் பட் पर्सபெக்டிவ்ன்றது ஃபோர் पर्सபெக்டிவ் தான் either a freudian psychodynamic perspective behaviorist perspective humanist perspective இல்ல cognitive perspective ஃபோர் पर्सபெக்டிவ் தான் கண்டிப்பா சேம் thing தான் அதவரை எழுத முடியாது ஓகே சோ வித் இன் தட் पर्सபெக்டிவ் தான் யூ ஹேவ் டு ரைட் salm questions will be general question that you can apply generally okay but perspectives are there they will give you mark here open ended la kedaiyad you cannot write your own idella kedaiyad example you can write any example own example that is up to you but concept wise the same concept only will come
ஓகே எனி எதா டவுட்ஸ் எதா டவுட்ஸ் இருந்தா கேளுங்க டோன்ட் ஹெசிடேட் ஓகே ஃபார் ரெஃபர் டு சி ஆஃப்லைன் ஆன்லைன் ஒன் செகண்ட் ஐ வில் கிளியர் தி டவுட்ஸ் ஃபார் தி டெஸ்ட் சீரிஸ் ஆஃப் டவுட்ஸ் சி டெஸ்ட் சீரிஸ் ஆர் கிளாसेस யூ கேன் அட்டெண்ட் फ्रॉम ஆன்லைன் ஆர் ஆஃப்லைன் நாட் an issue even uh, suppose some more uh, will be some other state you are attending in online test series also you can attend in online itself because now that is what is happening so you need not bother and you will not find any difference uh, for paper 1 our book itself whatever the book i am giving that book you study well that is what i will tell you reading 10 books i will say that it will not work reading one book 10 times only will work okay so one book read multiple time after that you have some time you can take some reference book you can have a glance of it okay but i want you to study the two part 1 part 2 of paper 1 that you study 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 you do it definitely you will clear it yes you will get a hot copy even a online student uh, your address we will get your address and we will send you the hot copy we are not going to give soft copy we are going to only give the hot copies and one book paper two you have to buy i know that the see uh, then competitively you will have a disadvantage because you are see we are looking you have to look your competitor what your competitor is doing now you do it that will be better worst case at least they have to do it by the month of october november so after the prelims there are some students who take it they do it. but that time you have to study for gs also no gs1 gs2 gs3 gs4 that test series will be attending it this test series also you have to attend it so that is the time you have you know after may june july august three months only you will have three months is a time only for revision revision and writing correction it evaluation again changing it so i think that after that if you take it it will not work out after that if you take paper 2 alone it may work out because uh, we have a paper to written by smarak swine so he has read that he has started preparation of paper 2 after prelims only after clearing the prelims so all the exceptional cases okay let us not go well safe aspect competitively better to start from now option if you want whatever option you keep it keep it done don't bother about you will forget that and all so you cannot be you know strong in everything our ultimate objective is to score some 50 to 60 percentage that is our objective we have to get into service that's all iaso ipso ifso we have to get into service that is our objective okay so we have to think subject as a knowledge we need should have ultimately we have to go for the upsc point of view so competition is one factor always keep in mind thirumba marubadi marubadi solra competition is one factor okay you should keep you should every day you should keep in mind that this exam is a competitive exam competition see when you come to the optional subject within the optional the competition they will ensure that you you get through so last year upsc report prahara how many i think uh, uh, those who have taken uh, uh, psychology 9.8% have gone into service management 14% but number of people who take management is very less okay so like that we have some percentage but your competition is within the optional especially for optional adukapra gs you have to perform because gs mark everything is clubbed no see i think management or something has got more percentage see for that reason you cannot go there see you don't you don't bother about it so whichever option may be see it can be whichever may be you be strong in the subject see once you attend the class you do writing practice i will say that is more than sufficient okay na adu last year data the same thing will come next year under theriyadu because here people get into lot of fallacies and the decision making la nariya thappa panuvanga okay so one uh, see suppose in psychology this year someone has got 330 now psychology is best in sona there is a foolishness see it will not work it that way see it is not the mark is not coming for the optional the mark is coming for the person adha yarume purinjike matanga that is what people are not understanding it you have to understand the mark is only coming for the person not for that particular optional so professor don't do that am i right 21 professor will not do that and that too is a competitive exam that to country's highest exam so they will be very very careful so whichever option you take it you have to perform within the optional both you have to be competitive within the optional you have to outperform your competitors that you have to keep in mind so you have to see where you stand one second
yes see in depth la no no in depth the, even for the disorders mental disorders and all we are not going for in depth for every disorder we will see some seven symptom that's all okay and also keep in mind idu mudichu psychology sala amudiyad psychology okay you cannot become a, you cannot go and do therapy you cannot do counseling and all that and all you cannot do it okay this subject for exam point of view we are studying it okay for upsc wants you know they the upsc does not want you to be just a generalist when option is given how well you specialize in that option that also that that caliber also they want to see that is the reason purposefully they kept it because the committee what the recommendation gave in the second erc is remove optional only keep gs but upsc purposefully kept gs gs four gs earlier pathina rendu optional two optional two gs paper then uh, that time the struggle will be more we have to study two subject now four gs paper so two that is one optional paper of two papers so edhukku specifically vachirukanga na when you take a subject whether are you able to specialize it how well you specialize that that skill also they want to see adukaga da purpose la irukacha but we are not going depth alla kada we are we are we are moving very shallow da okay so basics la padikka porom even you take a ncert plus 1 plus 2 that itself covers in reality uh, see even i should not tell in reality 55 to 60% of the syllabus is covered in that ncert okay so you know when we give that information then people will only stick on to the tc book so i don't want to do that you have to read the textbooks see teaching uh, will be only in english okay because that is what uh, you know basically commit uh, committed we, are, uh, we have committed but i don't think you will have a issue you can understand ipo na pesanu purinjidilla so and alaga irukum i will slow down so since it's a demo class little i can be fast but in the class i will slow down first few session so you will not have an issue any doubt you can clarify anyway i will share my numbers and everything you can have a clarification and all so option portaluk is a single point contact gs nalu you have a multiple contact option is a single point contact that's what we do a specific mentoring we do a specific thing okay so that you don't bother but uh, the language will be in only in english we cannot uh, commit on tamil that's not possible one or two words we can use it but because multi legal people are attending it so we cannot have it in the tamil we can have it only in uh, monolingual you have any doubts you can put it in tamil that's not an issue that i will translate in english and do it but develop english anyway you must develop english there is no other option am i right you get into service there ias officers ips officers and all they never talk in they will not talk only in english tha the culture itself is only english tha so we cannot escape from english that's that's only a language okay so many people see english as a very you know adaru pirsa paakranga they see as a big rock english is just a language for communication okay so it will come automatically it will come yes hot copies will be given for online students don't worry but it may take one week time but they will give you chariya okay fine okay thank you thank you thank you